Hello to everyone and welcome again to Adventure Story Channel videos. Today, my dear friends, we will talk about uh, the 3D simulator. We will enter inside and I will explain you how I download it and what I did. But before we start, I need also to welcome all our uh, Russian viewers. Добро пожаловать на канал Adventure Story. И хочу с вами поделиться сегодня с этим интересным 3D симулятором, который очень-очень, конечно, будет интересно, потому что это все в 3D, это независимо и не виснет. Вы можете скачать эту программу на свой компьютер и оттуда с ней заходить. Но для начала э, хочу сообщить, что только для русскоговорящих э, наших коллег я сделал здесь вот определенный сайт где вы можете посмотреть и выбрать некоторые вещи которые вам нравятся могу сказать что цены там очень доступны и самые лучшие чем либо в других магазинах как сказать электронных магазинах можно сказать даже чем ebay <coughs> пользуйтесь конечно вам это очень понравится и жду ваши ответы или сообщения в директ, но желательно, если на этом э, marketplace. So guys, uh, thank you that you stay tuned to Adventure Story Channel, and today we will all together will start this simulator. So this is the shortcut here. So I will enter inside and direct my program will be login because I have saved, uh, saved all the password and it will login automatically. So this is how it looks like and here as you can see there is already some guy here. Uh, there is his name also here. Stamatis is here for this VLCC. He's always connected there and <laughs> do not leave that uh, room. So I will check what I have downloaded. As you can see here, this is the green uh, ticks here. And I will start to run this kind of simulator for main engine. So it weights about 1.5 gigabyte. I have already downloaded uh, likely. Uh, this simulator was downloaded finally. Maybe I try five or two, 10 times, maybe more some days maybe take it to download it so uh, to choose that simulator first of all you need to press here as you can see this uh, green uh, entrance became red and then you came here and you select your simulator so here i will select man bmw 7s80 simulator and i will press start after that, uh, the program is uh, loaded and I will set the graphics to the fantastic to as much as possible. So also I will try, okay, I will press window now so I can close later on uh, more easily. Uh, okay, I will press play. So this is our simulator here. So here I can close later on more quickly. So here we have our uh, exhaust valve. We have our cylinder cover, our piston and all the materials we need. Also here you can remove cross heads, connecting roots, hydraulic units, accumulator and FIVA valves, cylinder oil lubricators, exhaust valve actuator, fuel booster pump, main bearings, uh, the last main bearing, the thrust bearing, the axial damper, uh, the speed sensor, the crack angle encoder, and cylinder starting valve, fuel valves, air coolers, air cooler water uh, damper, or probably this is uh, the demister. Also auxiliary blower and crankcase relief valve. So there is a lot of material that it's inside of this simulator it's really really all the engine and uh, not included here the frame <laughs> for assembly and if we press this 
plus sign as you can see by moving the mouse you can see that there is some demo of a disassembly of the exhaust valve secondly there is some exam that you can do there is time also for examination and uh, there is also the installation practice that you can do and then to give a exam so let's start from our first lesson here uh, let's make uh, the demo demonstration to see how it works but it shows first of all for sure it will show uh, some steps of doing something like uh, dismantling and I see the program is loaded so here you can see that there is some uh, hot keys for operating that simulator and also here by pressing these arrows on the left and on the right side you can see that what you have here so you have a manual and keyboard also operation special tools button you have also a part box from here uh, all the parts that you are disassembling is going here on the left so there is a manual turned automatically text description of current step and a draggable progress bar so you have all the progress indicated here and our toolbar hand a spanner a screwdriver and allens are here so I can press also here and click the left mouse button to select the operation target and then uh, click the arrow in the low right corner to call out the toolbar after determining the operation target select the corresponding tool in the toolbar if special tools are needed click the special tools button and select from the special toolbar number four select the corresponding tool and click the target again if the select tool is correct wait for animation to play after the disassembly the small parts are placed in the left part box and large parts are neatly placed on the ground so let's press here we do not have any other selection so i can close this help and let's our demo start the upper flange bolts removed also we remove the bottom flange then we will remove the pipe it's really really interesting the graphics are really really nice so the same thing uh, I will be done on the examination and it's really really nice to see these kind of videos so it will be more easy uh, for the engineers to understand how the step uh, wise is going on this kind of machineries So the feedback sensor will be disconnected also. The feedback sensor disconnected and all the sensors, my dear friends, you need to handle with care. It's really, really nice, the graphics, this, the details. It's so beautiful. Cooling pipes some supports from here really nice valve here placed for the vent it's really really good valve because uh, it will work for a longer time i have seen this kind of valves and i will make a video you will see what happened to the valve through the time So we disconnect also the insulation parts and this kind of insulation that have this kind of uh, 
closing type it's really really nice because you do not spend time by unscrewing and screwing the small screws so the bellow it's going like here it compress normally there is some roots from both sides and it will be compressed and now we remove some of them it's uh, removable direct this kind of plastics so we will put our hydraulics so as you can see uh, we have a beautiful animation of uh, fitting the hydraulics so here we have four hydraulics there is uh, some exhaust valves that have uh, two of them depends uh, the type of the engine and as you can see now uh, there is uh, the procedure of dismantling so if you have uh, four of them you can extract uh, four of them direct this is the best way because if you set two only it will be really really difficult and that's that we get uh, in the previous time that we make overhauling and I will explain what exactly happened on the dry dock <coughs> so the cable here the feedback cable can be removed directly going to the side and the valve will be lifted by the crane really important is the crane to be uh, align in both sides starboard side to port side and forward to aft so here we have also uh, after the removing the exhaust valve from the engine we have the overhauling and okay here let's see the animation but uh, in the next video when I will make the overhauling by myself and use all these tools I will explain step by step uh, what to do and what to avoid and some things and some important tips which is really really uh, important also for the assembling also for the disassembling uh, there is some ways to do that overhauling I prefer this kind of way that he does and really because here he make very very quickly I will explain all the steps so here we are here we have our exhaust valve and it's really really safe to put that uh, if the ship is not sailing but really I do not recommend it to put the exhaust valve in this way because in any movement the valve will fall down and damage can be done so it's really really nice how handle and separate the pieces so now we can remove our cover this cover it's really really heavy it's about in big engines like that that we have here it's weight weights about 160 to 180 kilograms so oh he turned like that very nice and also dismantle uh, the piston on the top and I have applied some images I have sent these images of this kind of piston so you can see that and this was the rings okay the rings here from this animation was not exactly a circle so demo finish okay there's a lot of things more that need to tell there is some measurements some kind of uh, things to see but if you like we can tell everything uh, of that really I never have overhauled the cross yet and I like to see that one also connecting route it will be really really interesting to see all that stuff okay let's start from the overhauling the exhaust valve we will make the same task that we have seen on the video really I have not used this simulator this is the first time that I use the first time no this is the second time because in the first time I unscrew only the top of uh, the high pressure pipe so for the disassembly I will press and I wait program 
for loading okay just press once and the program starts to load okay I believe <clears throat> okay also the time is running and also I will press here on the book to show you uh, what is loaded or not and here okay there is some example so what I can do ah here we are we have our mano also loaded it's a really really nice thing and really the guys make a really really good job because they apply uh, the manual also inside but yes okay it's loading it takes a little bit time this is the vacation and there is the manual in case that you do not have the manual you can see everything from here it's really really big and take time because it's a good uh, good uh, pixels as you can see there is detailed information and also by going to the manual and checking here you'll be able to see uh, all the things so I will select the pipe and I will confirm one moment okay I need to choose the pipe please confirm the time get for disassembly okay confirm step error one moment to see okay this will be our panel so I can turn also around here as you can see I can look everywhere also here down in the bottom and also I can move close and out here so by removing as we shown there for the exhaust valve we will need to remove uh, this here this flange okay I had first of all yes we need to press here and exactly show the details so here probably it's uh, the weight it's really really heavy and I will look also down okay here I will select these bolts exactly to remove of them by selecting the tools and then the hand first selecting the piece please select the tool and by hand remove so also I will go more down let's press Okay, I need to go down on the bottom. Okay, like that. By pressing E, the detail is so nice. In the floor, it's exactly the same. So I will select here. In our vessel, we have all these high pressure pipe uh, connected together but as I can see here this is more nice system because it really it separates the weight otherwise you need to use uh, your crane to lift all this weight but this kind it will be more better so let's remove it okay please select the tool and press on the item next thing also I will press here first disassembly the tool that I will use disassembly target step error okay I will select this one step error what says please select again so it's better to remember all the steps so let's you can do that anyway but okay let's follow uh, okay let's follow the program step error so I remember we have 
Okay, disassembly here of these bolts, select the tools. Okay, disassembly. And then we select the hand. Also here. Select the tool, okay, disassembly, and it removed. So the drain oil pipe removed. Okay, the tool is selected. Okay, let's turn. Um, probably this is the tool. This is the islands. Okay, correct. And in the last time when I uh, try to overhaul this kind of uh, feedback sensors, it was really, really tricky because the Allen was stuck up. And I really, really help the electrician uh, to remove that one because it was really difficult. What I did, I placed the Allen inside in the bolt and I strike sometimes so it will move a little bit the thread of the bolt and it will be more easy uh, for this connection. So I will press here, we can dismantle also this one. Okay, let's go to the bottom here. As you can see, I can enter also inside. We can go inside to the exhaust valve. Yes, we can go also inside of the exhaust valve. We can enter inside and we can see what is going on. Okay, in the exhaust reservoir we do not have anything. One moment, I will disconnect the piping here on the bottom. Okay. The appropriate tools. Step error. Okay, step error. What we have? Highlighting. Let's see. I will go a little bit back. So by remembering the steps, it will be more better to, for disconnecting. Okay, here the program have some steps which we need to follow. And as you can see, okay, let's go down. I'm still learning the keys. So let's go. We have disconnected there. We will disconnect also from here. I have selected the two already. And now I will dismantle the pipe. So the pipe is removed. And now we can go. We can go for our top piping here. Okay, step is not correct, so I will dismantle this one first, yes, the support, the support goes, and now we can dismantle, whoa, 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 okay, let's see, so what I supposed to do, probably, we need to remove here, Up, oh, oh, okay, here is our window because it's windowed. So I will try to dismantle this one here. So it not gives our selection. So I will press here. Select the door, dismantling, dismantling. Oh, coming out. Confirm, select the tool. Uh, okay, it's other one. 
I do not like to skip all the parts. So there is one step. So okay, it starts from here for dismantling. Okay, the tool is selected. Now so we will remove from here and the pipe goes off. So by doing that, you will remember all the steps. So we can go here, dismantle it by hand. So we can remove also here and then unscrew first selecting and then unscrew all of them. It's good to use here molybdenum disulfit and now we will compress possible by hand. Also some of them have some roots. So we have removed that one and what we need to do now we dismantle these caps by hand, all of them. And I will tell you there is four hydraulic uh, nuts here and hydraulic pistons. What is really important, okay, we will use this kind of hydraulic. As you can see, there is four of them. And what happened in the last dry dock the condition of these hydraulics was really really bad only me was the only person that uh, tried to fix them the other guys really no nobody cares and was really really awful that one uh, not any help at all only second second this not working this is this, this, this and uh, like that okay i try to fix as much as possible but really if you have this kind of hydraulics damage it's really really uh, difficult and what i will tell i will tell that uh, it's really really bad thing that uh, you have only two because what is happening this kind of tools going really really high in pressure and if I remember, it's something 2,100 or 2,300 bars, something like that. So what is going on? And I will tell you, if you place two of them, one here and one this side, it will not be easier get a uh, unscrew because it will not be uneven and also it will not be the proper pressure to press so the, the other one will be released. So what do you, if you have only two hydraulics, it's also really, really bad because you can extend the length of uh, the thread of the stud itself. And okay, we're moving them by hand. And also it's really, really bad because you will not exactly tighten them uh, at the end. And this is really, really that you need to think and always remember that uh, these hydraulics, it's really, really necessary to treat them good and not throwing as I have seen, not placing in the racks because racks uh, make these kind of things uh, coming rusty. And also, very good thing is to apply to this thread some light moly coat and this surface to be clean. So what we have here, we have uh, our exhaust valve free all around. And we can go out, we can go out. So I will press this one. So the crane really, really, I didn't select before and how to select the crane, uh, this will be really, really tricky. So where is the crane? Now oh, the crane, here it comes. So 
So the hand in, is also uh, the crane handling. So very, very important is when you are handling the weights, you're always there, you're always in the control and charge. Uh, what are you doing? Never and never leave from your side uh, the engine room crane or the crane's uh, operation itself. So what we will do here, we will uh, left, first of all, uh, we will need to place also here this kind of nuts going by hydraulics and let's see how they will get off from here okay let's say i will press the hands they are going by hands this is wrong there is also some smaller smaller hydraulics that you will place there and by this uh, installation you'll be able to withdraw them next so we removing that one now we can remove the top side of the exhaust valve by hand again so by selecting here we will remove this lock and using some uh, of the screws let's go more this is a stopper, a securing stopper, so we can remove it by hand. Most of the times it will stuck by the oil because here around we have a lot of oil. This is a piston, the piston also will be brittle to press down, so these uh, locks will go out and now we can dismantle this also. Uh, will be needed to push because it will stuck by the oil and here we have our uh, cylinder inside so now what we are doing back again we are uh, set let's go back okay we are placing we are placing it back we will screw also our nuts Okay, let's press them and they will go up again so by pulling all the exhaust valve and here uh, when you are tightening these nuts you must tighten them all in the proper tightening place and uh, size so it will be a uh, tight and good and you don't have any space you don't like your valve to play and your cover to play inside these threads because as I have seen these threads are really really soft and easy to damage also when you are putting the top cover of the exhaust valve here you must check that the hole here for the drain piping it's on the front so will not uh, place it uh, differently so now we can uh, lift our valve and our spindle will lay down here so by removing the bottom piece of the exhaust valve I like to see what I will do in the cross head uh, which will be more difficult and also I have not any experience there but it would be nice here to see for sure it will not be so easy like here because here it is more much more easy and this bolt i believe there is also in the another side and so simply this valve will be uh, lifted up and the bottom piece will remain there so what have left now I have left the valve body which is dirty inside have a lot of carbon formation uh, which will need to, for cleaning all these pieces are measurable measurable also the spindle there is some measurements here on this side through the all the length you will check also the ceiling surfaces here 
the overall condition, the bottom piece measurements, and if there's any necessary grinding procedure. And also very, very important to not make grinding when the vessel is moving because it, you will make uh, damage to the surfaces. So now what we will do, we will disassemble these kind of nuts, hydraulic nuts, and we will pull it up by the crane. As I have seen, you must be as much as possible align your crane. So when you will lift your cover, it will not stack on these threads. And as I have seen, it will be much, much easy. Uh, it's very, very easy to stack there. So what I need to do now is to remove the crane. Always be careful with your hands and to lay down the top cover of the exhaust valve. All the O-rings will be replaced. Do not uh, leave any old one O-rings inside. And now we remove the actuating piston from inside. Here there is some uh, safety metal to protect the piston to go out. So I will choose our spanner here and then i will remove i will remove whoa, whoa, whoa. the piston okay come on come out okay this tool the hand normally it slides out very very easy as you can see there's also coming uh, emails here and okay we'll remove also the o-ring So this is all uh, the time that total number of steps 47 and also there is some kind of evaluation. It's really, really nice thing uh, to see. So there is also some results. that you can uh, check it. So by press PDF you can print probably, you can export that one for you if you need it. And here as you can see we finish our disassembly. So I will press cancel here if I will cancel so I do not see that this window will be easy to close okay I will press A and I will save I will press save as I can see it's a little bit save okay saved return Okay, so for disassembling, I, I have finished uh, this course and I hope you enjoyed that one, my dear friends. And I am waiting you on another video. So we will start our assembling of exhaust valve and next we will do uh, more videos about the next thing. And also I like to see and also I believe you like to see adventure story to remove the cross head and all the other items so thank you again that you have stayed tuned to adventure story channel don't forget the previous videos there's a lot of big library and already we built together a big academy thank you again my dear friends don't forget to check my links don't forget to check also the comments and the community tab and also my dear friends uh, always subscribe and press the bell button so this information will reach more and more people across the uh, wide space of the internet and of the YouTube. Thank you again and see you in the next video. Bye bye.